So I got a request for um, how to make a hookah uh, from one of you guys on YouTube when they saw my first hookah smoking video, and I guess my only one. So um, I'm actually my friend's 18th birthday is coming up here in a couple days, a couple weeks. Um, so I'm making him a hookah for his birthday, and I figured I would film it since I'm going to be making it now so you guys can learn how to do it, learn all the uh, tips and tricks, I guess, all the uh, secrets of making a actually good homemade hookah that lasts. Uh, my homemade, the one in the video, um, has lasted me almost a year and hasn't needed any repairs. It's been pretty much stock since day one. So yeah, I'll just get started here. I'll show all the supplies and all that good stuff. Um, so you got the splicing hose, nozzle, the cheap. Uh, get that. All this stuff was bought at the hardware store. I'm not even going to use power tools on this because I don't really need to. Um, my base. Uh, whatever base you use, make sure it's got a removable lid. That's going to be necessary. Uh, stem. Drilled out. Uh, I'll talk about the length here in a second. Epoxy. Uh, just It's basically putty that um, turns into cement. And a hookah bowl. This is actually necessary for the uh, the making of the hookah. I got my hammer right here. So basically what you want to do stem length. Um, you want to make sure you measure your stem out. Uh, you don't want the stem to touch the bottom but at the same time you don't want it to be hanging up way here. I'm talking about inside the hookah so I measured mine about an inch from the bottom and then the way I do it is um, this new design I thought up of see if I can is I don't really want this sticking high up like the other one. I want it as low as possible. That way, uh, when I finish it, the bowl is going to sit right on top, just like this. Um, so I'll show you guys kind of the method behind that madness. So first of all, you just basically figure out where you want your stem to drop in. And you start a hole with your awl or other pointy object. Um, Start a couple here. Uh, you can use a drill if you really want to, but honestly, it's not going to do much good when you can just do this. Looks about right, it looks good. Get it straightened out. Notice the uh, distance from the bottom. And how much is sticking up off the top. Not pretty, but it won't matter here in a minute because you're gonna take your epoxy. Um, if you can see, there's a core in there. And once that's mixed with the outside, the lighter silverish gray um, becomes like a soft putty, and then you work with it until it hardens, solidifies, and then it's pretty much like cement. And uh, for the stem, you're going to want kind of an, uh, an excess of the epoxy. And I'll show you why once we get to that point. Get a little bit more here in the mix. And uh, it definitely pays to get this mixed up right get it all blended together, uh, definitely take the time to do so because the better blended means the uh, better and stronger it will be once it solidifies. So 
So that's pretty well mixed right there. Um, pretty much uniformly gray. Um, it's nice and warm because it's been in my hand, so it's easy to work with. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna get it out into uh, kind of like a snake, I guess. Get some of this out of the way. And you're gonna end up wrapping it around your stem. Then you're gonna kinda press and smooth it down so it gets a nice good hold on there. And it's also airtight. It's very important, obviously. And um, orientation of the stem is definitely going to be important. You want it as straight as you can possibly get it. And you're gonna take your bowl. And you're just gonna push it down. And my phone is ringing. And you want to push the bowl down as pretty much as hard as you can just to uh, make sure there's a nice little seal around the bottom. But you also got to be careful not to get the bowl cemented in there because you're definitely not going to leave it on to let the uh, epoxy dry. But definitely leave it on for this part, the uh, smoothing around the edges. That looks pretty good to me.